Hey y'all, hey, it's JJ Conway. Welcome to Building Wealth Together, where our goal is to help you walk in abundance and leave a legacy. It's Wealth Building Wednesday, where we answer your money questions with style and grace. To ask your question, go to buildingwealthtogether.com and click Ask JJ, or leave a voicemail at one 4 ask jjc Normally we'd answer questions, but today we've got some wealth building teaching instead. Today's Building Wealth Together podcast is part two of a two-part interview with someone who has been helping people build wealth for decades. Learn more and catch the rest of the series at buildingwealthtogether.com. I am honored to introduce to you Dr. George C. Fraser. He is the chairman and CEO of FraserNet Incorporated, a company he founded 32 years ago to lead a global networking and economic development movement for people of African descent. Born in Brooklyn, New York, he was an orphan and foster child for 15 years. He spent 20 years in leadership positions with Procter & Gamble, United Way, and Ford Motor Company before starting his own business in 1987. He's written six best-selling books to include Success Runs at Our Race, Click, and most recently, Mission Unstoppable, Extraordinary Stories of Failure's Blessings, a book he co-authored with Les Brown. Upscale Magazine named him one of the top 50 power brokers in Black America, and Black Enterprise Magazine called him Black America's number one networker and featured him on its cover. Dr. Fraser has been featured on seven national magazine covers and has received over 350 awards and citations to include induction into the Minority Business Hall of Fame and Museum, three honorary doctorate degrees, a chaplaincy, and an ambassadorship. The final pillar is a new pillar, and it is cryptocurrency. Now, this is this is huge. And I am, as I said, I am nearly 77 years old. And I have seen nothing in my 77 years that offers the wealth building opportunity in the period of time that it can help you build wealth than cryptocurrency. In fact, there is an economic tsunami coming in the next five or 10 years, according to Forbes magazine, that is predicted by them that cryptocurrencies will replace the US dollar as the the coin of realm. All right. We cannot miss this opportunity, brothers and sisters. Please don't miss this. Like we missed the development of cable television, like we missed the development of the cell phones, like we missed the development of the internet. We just watched, we were afraid. And billionaires were created. Bob Johnson, for example understood the future of cable television when everybody is saying, why would I pay for television when I could get it for free? Well, with a $15,000 loan from his wife, he started BET. He sold it 20 years later for $3.2 billion to Viacom. He understood the potential of it. I cannot even begin to tell you how many people were made millionaires when cell phones licenses were being auctioned for very little money. My group, a group of five, we invested $5,000 each, got into the lottery. That's what it was. It was a lottery ticket. It was a $25,000 lottery ticket. We got into the lottery and we won the air rights for Alabama, right? Immediately when we won it, an Asian company we remember we got in and we won at 25,000. They offered us over a million the next day. What do you think we did? We sold. <laughs> we sold and we used the profit that we made to make other investments. Now, truth be known, five years later, they sold what we sold to them for a million dollars for $41 million to Verizon. But I wasn't complaining. I got a huge return on my investment and I used that return 
to invest in other things like the internet, et cetera, et cetera. So don't miss this, brothers and sisters. This is a prima facie opportunity. Cryptocurrency, properly managed, properly understood, properly studied, right, with savvy investment strategies can make you a fortune. Now, understand, this is for the future. I'm not really doing this for me. I'm doing it for my children. Because if my if your children cannot see the future, they will not pay the price. This is really for them. I'm setting them up deep into the 21st century. Do it for your children. Now, you can do it for yourself, too. There's plenty of money to be made. But in terms of a long-term play, like if you invested in the internet as a long-term play, um, this, this is this, and I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. This is an awesome opportunity. Okay, it is something new to learn, and it's something new to grow. That's what it is. Now, there's some good news. A Harris poll was taken three months ago on by cultural group on the number or the percentage of people in the major cultural groups in America who are invested in cryptocurrency. You know who is number one on percentage based on population? Black people. 23% of black folks are invested in cryptocurrency. 10 and a half million of us. Now that least 36 million, we need to still convince as compared to 11% of the white population and 17% of the Hispanic population. So I think we're getting it. That's a beautiful thing. The point I'm making, and I know you make this all the time, you must put your money to work harder for you than you did, it for, you did for it. That's fundamentally true. Why, Dr. Fraser? Because poor people, Poor people spend the money that they make. Rich people spend the money that their money makes. That's a huge difference. So don't save your money. That's old school. Put your money in a savings account today. You know what you earn? A half a percent, maybe a year. If you put it in a five-year certificate of deposit, right? You know what they're paying now? About 3% annually. That means you're losing money on the money that you're saving because you can't even keep up with inflation. Don't save your money. Invest your money. Put your money to work harder for you than you did for it. Let me say that a different way. If your money isn't working harder for you than you did for it, then your money is pimping you instead of you pimping your money. You need your behind kit. Crypto is an awesome opportunity, but first educate yourself. I think it was Socrates who said that the only good is knowledge and the only evil is ignorance. Educate yourself and don't do it alone. Do it with a group of people of like mind who've been the canary in the, uh, uh, in the coal mine, who've tested it, who've made their mistakes. Again, we have a group of about a thousand brothers and sisters that this is what we do together. And we invest in platforms, not necessarily in coins. That's really, really, I mean, you really got to know what you're doing. There are over 4,000 coins and they go up and down and up and down. So we invest in the blue chip stuff in platforms. If you want to know more about that, we meet, we meet every week and discuss our investments as a large group. Just email me, gfraser at frasernet.com. Say, I'm interested in crypto, and I'll send you the link. It's all free. We're not charging you for this knowledge. So I've been invested in crypto, really, in all candor, for about a year. About a year. Okay? Crypto became popular in the mass markets, JJ, during COVID. That's what happened. Prior to that, 
it was highly speculative. It was up and down. It was all kinds of things. It's a wild, wild west, no regulations. And it still is the wild, wild west. And it still is no regulation or very little regulation. But that's not going to last forever. Right? It's not going to last forever. So get in now. So let me give you a comparison and I'll get off of this horse here. I'm a fairly savvy investor. My wife and I, 30 years ago, with the, on the advice of my financial planner, a brother, and actually he was a Muslim. He belonged to the Nation of Islam. But he had all the licenses, had all the training, all the college degrees. It was brilliant. Um, uh, his name was Idris Muhammad. Brilliant brother. We invested, Nora Jean and I, $8,000 in 1980 in S&P 500 stocks. Today, 30 years later, that investment is now worth $783,086. That was the gold standard back in the day, JJ, right? right? Uh, 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 blue chip stocks. And that's what we did. It took 30 years to get to $783,000. Okay. Now, in January of last year, beginning with an $800 out-of-pocket investment, I invested in my first crypto platform after reading about it after studying on it right i put my toe in the water and immediately the money i was earning on that little 800 dollars blew me away so i took the profits that i earned from that little 800 dollars all of this happened within 30 days and i reinvested it and then I reinvested those profits. And I ended up putting in, when it was all said and done, about $15,000. $15,000 in four platforms. Do you know what that $15,000 is worth today? One year later, over $400,000. Now, if you know of an investment that you can put in 15 grand and 12 months later, you've made $400,000, please tell Dr. Fraser and I'll do that with you. Okay, I'll do that with you. I promise. Right. You can find something that will earn you a 21, 2200 percent investment. Please let me know. Now, I don't know how long this is going to last. I don't. As I said, it's the wild, wild west. It's unregulated. We know these things are not going to unset, uh, uh, stay unregulated. We know when the rules don't work for the banks, what do the rules do? What do they do? What do the banks do, I should say? They change the rules. So right now is the time to get in. So crypto and this space, there is a huge opportunity. It's like the internet in the early stages. Now, already, crypto has created over 100,000 millionaires. Already. I want to be one of those. And JJ, if you're not one of them, I want to make you one. And anybody that's interested. So just email me, gfraser, frasernet.com. I will send you the link and you can join us in our conversations. But this is what we are doing. So those are the five pillars for the intergenerational transfer of wealth. If you want to get rich, embrace them. Check them off. And here's another checkoff list. So brothers and sisters, write this down. This is a checkoff list for every Black family. Every black family, you don't have to achieve this now, but I'm saying within a generation, certainly within 20 years or sooner, you want to be, be able to put a check mark next to each of these assets. Every black family should own land. I already talked about that. 
That's a no-brainer. Every Black family should have some gold in their portfolio, some gold. Every Black family should be invested in crypto. Now, you remember what I said. In one year, my $15,000 investment went to over 400000 But 30 years ago, my $8,000 investment right, went to $783,000, but it took 30 years. What will my crypto investment that is worth $400,000 in a single year, what will that be worth, JJ, in 30 years? Crypto. That's number three. Number four, life insurance. Be properly insured. Properly managed, that alone could make you wealthy. Number four, no, number five. Every Black family should have an LLC. Start you, I don't care if you start a business at your kitchen table, I don't care what you do. When you start it, start it as an LLC. The tax benefits and the tax write offs are like nothing you've ever seen. Every Black family should have an investment account. I didn't say savings account. I said investment account. Money that you put aside to invest. Now, I'm not saying don't save some money for a rainy day so that you're really liquid, but the investments that we're talking about here can be very liquid very quickly. So if you want to save a little money, you can. You ain't going to earn anything on it. It'll be safe, but you're not going to earn any interest on it. So if you just want to feel comfortable because you're old school, yeah, you can save a little bit. But take the money that you would normally save and put it in an investment account where you're investing in things that provide you what? Compound interest. Einstein called compound interest the eighth wonder of the world. Most of us don't even understand the power of compound interest. Look it up. The next is part of your asset portfolio is have stocks, right? Have a portfolio of stocks, but get advice and counsel on it. Find an expert. There are many brothers and sisters and others who this is all they do all day long. You don't do that. Invest in them and listen to them. The final three assets. These are black family assets. Every black family should have a living trust. You could a will, that's old school. A living trust in your children or your wife or whomever you want to be in charge of that trust when you check out of here. Because the tax benefits of a living trust and the and no necessity to go through probate where the courts hassle you, the lawyers get paid, right? It's much quicker to get the resources from that trust, a trust in, in whomever you want to manage those assets when you turn them over. A living trust. If, 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 you, if you're a husband and you think you're going to go first, of course, it's in your wife's name. Uh, if it's your wife and you, you do it in your children's name or whomever you deem appropriate. But a living trust is more important than a will. If you don't do a trust and at least, damn it, do a will. And as I said earlier, a GoFundMe campaign is not a will. Please, you know, to raise money to bury your own people, your own folk. Um, finally, and I said it earlier, every Black family should produce an essential product. In other words, own a little business. 
You could even have a little multi-level marketing if that if if you enter multi-level marketing and call that a business and develop a little LLC around it. There's so many opportunities. There are more business opportunities out here for us than we are looking for. Right? That is not our problem. Opportunity is not our problem. What our problem is capacity, that we have to spend the 21st century building our capacity to take advantage of the enormous opportunities that are uh, out here. Building capacity means developing the skills, the apprenticeship, the reading and the knowledge, and sitting alongside of someone that understands what it takes to build. We have to build our capacity to do better business. So those, I think, are the essential assets that we must check off as black families or white families. That's a, it doesn't matter, really. This is this this most of this stuff applies to anybody. But it particularly applies to us because we're not engaged in this level of conscious and subconscious thinking. Long answer to your question, but a very, very important question. Well, you actually answered my next three questions about <laughs> what we should do and whether we should talk about crypto and how do we get rich. And you've laid it all out. And as somebody that teaches people how to build wealth, I appreciate how you have laid it out so very plainly and clearly. And one of the things that you just talked about was building capacity and not only being able to have some knowledge, but put it to work and build in space, time, money and energy. And then you said a key phrase, sitting at the feet of people who've done it. And I understand that you have an event coming up, the Power Networking Conference, that's going to be live this year, and that that event will allow us to do exactly what you said to help build more capacity in our lives. Can you talk a little bit more about the Power Networking Conference? What can we expect this year? Oh, yeah. And thank you so much for registering it. You have vision. You saw it early and you signed up and you took advantage of a very special opportunity. And I appreciate you for that. You are practicing the behavior that you expect from the people who love you, know you, and follow you and take your advice and counsel. Yes, the conference is called the Power Networking Conference. It is the 21st anniversary of the Power Networking Conference. Forbes named us as one of the top five conferences in America not to be missed not to be missed, not one of the top five black conferences, but one of the top five of all the conferences produced in this country. We focus on two things, and you talked about it. We focus on business and money, business and money. The third focus is wellness, psychological wellness and physical wellness, because we're out of our natural minds. We really don't understand how awesome and powerful and beautiful we are, right? That we, are, again, are standing on the shoulders of giants. So this conference is something you want to be. It sells out every uh, be at. It's at uh, August the 3rd through the 6th in Houston, Texas. This is our second year in Houston. We started out in Houston, before COVID, then COVID, we had to do virtual, first class virtual for the last two years, and now we're going back live. So this will be our first live in three years, all right? Uh, we are going to moderate the, the number of attendees. We just don't know what's going to be happening with COVID. We're hoping eight months from now we'll be just fine. But we're not going to entertain the large attendees because we used to have over 2,000 people at the conference, right? We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna keep it down uh, to about 1,000. We're already 80% uh, sold out for everybody's chomping at the bits to come back together again. Over 50 of the brightest speakers on the planet, uh, there are 25 workshops uh, 20, 30 interactive spaces, we call them our, our Black Wall Street area where you can, you can look at and buy some products and services from brothers and sisters. There are four meals. Uh, it is just one uh, amazing experience. It's a place, JJ, where you make new friends, uh, you get new feelings, 
and you come away really as a, a new you. you. You leave your fears and you leave your frustrations and you leave your old worn out past behind. This is a place where we help you and a young person. We hope that you bring a young person, 17 to 25, because our children should be sitting at the feet of masters and, be, and they should be immersed in all of the excellence that they will be around. And we treat them as adults and we talk to them like adults and they meet some of the most powerful people. They make, make connections that can, that can last a lifetime. We help them make their life a masterpiece. So it is what I call a green path to black wealth. So that's the Power Networking Conference. So make new connections and you can find new business resources. It is just the place where this is where you want to be. Um, you'll, be an, you'll be inspired. So what I'd like to do for you <clears throat> is to make your audience a special offer. A special offer. This is for your audience, people who are smart enough to watch this and take the time and sit through it. If you go on the website, powernetworkingconference.com, you will see that a single registration is $1,500 for one adult. We urge you to bring a young person, 17 to 25, hopefully your children, someone that you are mentoring perhaps, if you don't have children. Um, a registration for a student is $800. If you put it together, that's $2,300 for one adult and one student. So as a special offer, what I'd like to do is take $1,700 off of that price and make it available for $599 for one adult and one student, 17 to 25, one adult, one student. Now you cannot get this offer if you go when you go on our website. We have a special offer, but it's not this. You have to get it through me. You have to email me at gfraser at frasernet.com. That's G Fraser F R A S is in Sam E R G Fraser at frasernet.com. In the subject line, put um in. In the body of the email, put your full name and your cell number, your full name and your cell number so that I could personally call you and we could handle our business over the phone by credit card. That's our offer. I'm going to limit the number of people that I'm giving this crazy discount to, to 25. So the first 25. So roll the dice, take your chances, you never know, and take advantage of this incredible offer. If you live in Houston or Dallas or pretty much anywhere in Texas, you have no excuse. You ought to be there. It's at the Hilton of America. It's a five-star hotel. You have no experience you've had in your lifetime. So thank you for asking me about the Power Networking Conference, JJ. I really appreciate it. And thank you, Dr. Fraser, for the wonderful discount. Being able to come and bring the young person along with us for just $5.99 is an excellent deal. And I hope that those 25 slots will be filled with my audience before any other speaker's audience. <laughs> Amen. And um, with that, we are about out of time, sir. Uh, I really do appreciate you being here with us today. I appreciate you speaking into not only my audience, but also myself, because even as I know something as a financial planner, to hear is, hear, so, hear those concepts from somebody with your experience and success means so much. So I want to thank you for being here today. And before we close out, do you have any last words that you would like to say? Yes, I'd like to answer a simple question that no one has asked, but it's a very popular question and it's a deep question. The question I get often is, Dr. Fraser, what is the meaning of life? Wow. Well, life has no meaning. You 
have meaning and you bring it to life. So it is crazy to ask the question when in fact you are the answer. Live a good life. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Love you. Keep doing God's work. And I'll see you at the conference. You'll see me at the conference and you'll see me Thursday nights. Oh, that's right. Right, right, right. Great. Take care. Take care, sir. And be blessed. And for everybody watching today, I hope you will heed Dr. Fraser's words. Be sure to send him an email. You should be seeing his email down at the bottom of the screen as you watch this presentation. And then also take advantage of that. And I will see you all also in Houston. And you will get to bring your young people to take pictures, just like my son did with Dr. Fraser two years ago. And you will be able to see the change in their lives as they realize that we can all build wealth together. I'm JJ Conway. Thank you for watching. Or for those of you who are listening in audio form, thank you for being a solid supporter of the podcast. You take care and be blessed. Love the podcast? Be sure to like, subscribe, and forward three friends. You can ask a question or take a life-changing class at buildingwealthtogether.com. Now go walk in abundance and leave a legacy.